most farmer most farmers get confused when they hear the yields per hectare when they hear from the seed companies they will be told that they will be able to achieve 200 to 220 bags per hectare some agronomists will actually tell them you'll be able to achieve 150 to 200 bags but when they go on the ground they discover that it's 80 to 100 bags per hectare why is that hi i'm the mad farmer from shpangali district deep down in the village of eastern province welcome to my videos today i thought of taking you through on the production of maize and why some people uh, yield I usually have low yield. Okay, here is the thing. When you go to seed companies, they will tell you that we are able to achieve 200 bags per hectare. 220 bags per hectare. Why is it so? There are so many factors that leads to lower yields. For example, most of the small scale farmers, their yields are quite low. Why is it that? One, fertilizer application two weeding time spray program these are some of the things that leads to low yields another point is the variety if you plant late maturity be assured that your yields will be more than those that are going to plant medium maturity and those that are going to plant early or very early those that are going to plant medium maturity are going to have more yields than those that are going to plant A. So, what it is, is first of all, you need to understand your region. Understand your region. If your planting is somewhere in November and very early December, the best, the best variety you can plant is late maturity because you are going to have a high yield. If you plant anything, uh, between 15th December to 31st December, you are comfortable to plant medium maturity. Now, here's the thing. Planting of maize also contributes to your yields. For example, you plant your medium maturity variety in January, and then you expect to have a good yield. Can that happen? The answer is no. Farming. Let me say, planting has got limited time to do so. Plant the late maturity. If you can plant in November, the better, but not after 15th December. You can plant your medium maturity in December. Early can be planted in the first week of January. You can plant it. I'm not saying you can't plant in December, but the latest should be early first week of January. That's the early. By so doing, you will discover that your yields will be better. Now, most of these projections are based on a commercial farmer. For example, uh, when they say 200, 220 bags of maize, that is actually the commercial farmer is the only person that can manage to achieve that. Why? It's because they follow what needs to be followed. They are on time in terms of fertilization. They are on time when it comes to weeding. They, they choose the correct and the right variety of seed. When you do that, you discover that you'll be actually almost like a commercial farmer. For example, when plant maize, it's always better to do your best of fertilizer at planting. But because most of us get scared, because most of the seed gets bent with the fertilizer and it's too much work, what we usually do immediately it, it germinates, we actually apply our D. But you discover that most small scale farmers, they want to apply their basil when it reaches waist level or after knee level. And then they do the mixing of D and top dressing together and then they apply, expecting to have a good yield. My brother, you've missed it. These are some of the reasons why you find that most small scale farmers fail to achieve. For example, another example is a commercial farmer will be able to achieve from a 10 kg bag of maize, maize seed, they'll be able to get 50 bags of, 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 uh, of maize. A medium scale farmer will be able to get 40 bags. A small scale farmer, a very small scale farmer will get 30 to 35. Why? They were late in, weed, in weeding, they were late in fertilizer application and stuff like that. 
So the best thing you can do if you want to be a good farmer, follow what needs to be followed. A good grain, a good cob should be able to give you between 120, 150 grams per cob. But you find out that a small scale farmer or a medium scale farmer will get 90 to 100 grams per cob. When you do your maths, there are 20,000 seeds in, most of the time, there are around 20,000 seeds in a, 10, in a 10 kg bag. And then do 20,000 times 100 grams. And then you will have the number of bags you are able to achieve in a 10 kg. I hope this one helps. I hope this video helps. Because at the end of the day, we all need to celebrate when we harvest our maize. For any comments and contribution, please feel free to get in touch with me on 0977-851196. 0977-851196. Or better still, on WhatsApp, on the same number, or on Facebook, The Mad Farmer Kapwata. The Mad Farmer Kapwata. On YouTube, Mad Farmer Kapwata. Mad Farmer Kapwata. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you all.